Hey guys, welcome back to Sidewalks Entertainment. Richard R. Lee. Today we're at uh, Silicon Valley Comic Con, and right now I have a very uh, incredible actor. His name is Keith Guggen. Thank you. Great to be here. Thank you for having me on. Hi, guys. <laughs> Dude, it's such a great show. So much great cosplay going on. Amazing uh, celebrity guest David Tennant is here. Chris Kattan is sitting right next to us. I kind of froke out when I sat down yeah, earlier. What's it like to sit next to him? Oh, uh, it's great. That's one of the great things about doing uh, autograph conventions is all the other great celebrities. And some are old friends or people that you might have worked with before. Yeah. And others, I just I fanboy out all the time. All right, if you were coming to a Silicon Valley Comic Con, it's more of a, for the audience, this is more of a science fiction comic convention, but what would you cosplay as? What would I cosplay as? Spider-Man's always a go-to. I'm a really big Spider-Man fan. Uh, fan. And uh, what did we see? Also, anything Star Wars, really. I would love a great Stormtrooper out would, would be my dream. <laughs> so how, how, how did you get started in this business, uh, acting? Oh, I was uh, very young and wanted to be on TV. Like, literally, I saw kids on TV or in commercials or on, like, Electric Company and Sesame Street, and I told my mom I wanted to be, and we, I happened to be part of a uh, television uh, and film family as my grandpa, my mother's father was Jackie Coogan, uh, the world's first uh, child film star. And he was with Charlie Chaplin and the kid, and later Uncle Fester on the original Adams Family. And... Uh, uh, so I, but I was born Keith Mitchell and worked for 10 years or so in television, did a lot of TV. Fox and the Hound I had done under the uh, name Keith Mitchell. And then grandfather passed in about 84. I'd already kind of done a lot of TV, changed my name in about 86 to Keith Coogan. And that's where I started doing films like Adventures in Babysitting and Hiding Out, uh, Toy Soldiers, and Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead. What was it like working on that film? It was summer camp for adults, so it was hot, it's up in Canyon Country, Valencia, near Magic Mountain, California, about 40 minutes north of downtown LA, and there's a lot of like office industrial parks so that they kind of had, can have warehouses, active sound stages, but we worked at a real house, which is the middle of summer, you can't run the air conditioner because it affects the sound when you're recording, so it was hot. And they really left all this food in the kitchen because the parents go away for the summer and the kids wreck the house. The house is already wrecked before the mom even left and the kids wreck it further before they fix it up. The writer said, you know, there's all these movies about, you know, parents being away and the kids messing things up. They're like, what would happen if the mom went away and the kids actually pulled their act together? You know, there's some people out there may not know exactly what roles you're... Tell us some other movies you've been in. To, and, what's well, your and what's your favorite moment of that? Oh, wow. Well, well Hiding Out with John Cryer was absolutely great. Uh, John is, is just a wonderful guy, and he, he, you know, he's such a professional and works so hard. Uh, working with a cheetah in Africa for Disney's The Cheetah. Uh, uh, doing um, uh, no stunts at all in Toy Soldiers because my character was a chicken. Uh, but, that, you know, I came out of my trailer one day on Toy Soldiers with Sean Astin and Will Wheaton, Lou Gossett Jr., Denim Elliott, Andrew Devoff, great cast. That's, that's really the best thing is all of the great people that you get to work with. But I came out of my trailer one day and there's a couple of helicopters over and a, you know, a school tower being blown up and machine guns are going off. And I go, this is the greatest job in the world. Is there an actor that you like? You're maybe starstruck, you, you will, or somebody you haven't worked with that you would love to? Well, De Niro, of course. Cool. And I, you know, I had uh, really been affected by Taxi Driver and Godfather and Mean Streets, and uh, and I got to really see him turn the corner and start to do comedy with Midnight Run and Charles Grodin, and he's hysterical. And I feel that I kind of approach comedy like. Robert De Niro in that I take my comedy very seriously. I try not to do it funny, but uh, just sometimes I think characters that are over serious can be funny and a little ridiculous. So that's kind of my comedy. What's some of the uh, latest projects you've been in? So really proud of not only Limelight, which is a true tale of uh, a internet star from the middle of the country that decides finally after a million followers he comes out to LA. I played his skeezy talent agent and I was just awful. Uh, and then I'm also really proud of A Tale of Two Corys, which just came out on Lifetime Television, which is about Corey Heyman, yeah. Corey Feldman growing up in Hollywood. And I, uh, I do not play a very good guy. Uh, I do a turn of, in two and a half 
uh, minutes. Uh, probably one of the creepiest things I have ever done in my career. But I'm really proud of that. And of course, uh, supporting Corey Feldman, uh, his fight to acknowledge that children can also be victims as well of the Me Too movement. Uh, and it's, it's the last thing that anybody wants to talk about is harm to children. But my grandfather fought for working conditions, a share in the revenue, Coogan accounts, the Coogan Act to protect minors while they're working in film and television. And I, I'm really proud of Corey Feldman for also trying to get some attention that, you know, children also have to be protected further on the set. That's amazing, all the stuff that you, your grandfather and everybody's been doing around you. Uh, what has been the ultimate favorite role you have had? Wow. Uh, I would... You know, working on movies like Cousins with Isabella Rossellini, Ted Danson, directed by Joel Schumacher, the great Lloyd Bridges, Billy Peterson, Sean Young, uh, probably one of the greatest experiences working on a film, but I'd have to say my favorite character is probably Kenny from Don't Tell Mom, The Babysitters, which is so far from the kind of geeky, nerdy, trombone-playing theater nerd that I really was. Uh, so I'm really proud of that, and probably was one of my funnest roles. Cool. You know, there's a lot of people out there who uh, wants to be an actor. They, I don't know how to get started, but what would you be your advice if somebody wanted to be an actor? And drink water, too. So, uh, it, it is any it, trade or craft or skill. Uh, some people are absolutely born with it, and others uh, have to study very, very hard. And, uh, not, and even if you're natural, you're not born a licensed doctor. But it doesn't take any license to become an actor. But to become a union actor, that's tough. So you have to be able to support yourself, or, you know, bus tables, do whatever you can while you're studying and going to acting school and being in whatever play, whatever small productions, whatever you can, until you can make that step and become union. And then it's a whole other round of how to promote yourself and how to network and how to get jobs and how to be good in them and how to promote those jobs and, uh, and, and the connections that you make in the industry. Those are probably the most important thing is the people that get you work, get to work with because it, it's a very hard thing to do to make a film it's very cost prohibitive and it's and it's rough and the schedule is rough and you don't get a lot of sleep and a lot of people working together on something and so when you do find that you work well with people it's great to be able to work with them again and you've been lucky with that very lucky Curtis Armstrong said it great best uh, from uh, risky business and of course Revenge of the Nerds. Really Curtis really Armstrong know. said that, well, there's luck. And there's more than just luck of getting a role. There's also the luck that that movie that you work in might connect or resonate with an audience. You know, even years down the line, like Adventures of Babysitting came out uh, over 30 years ago, 31 years ago. ago. Yeah, last year was its 30th anniversary. Wow. And I just love that I see families sharing it with their young kids Ooh, now. Uh, and go, this is, you have to, you know, see Adventures of Babysitting. It meant something to them when it was younger. And it's fun to see a movie hold up. So I was very lucky to be a part of that. And thanks to Chris Columbus and Touchstone Pictures and Disney, Deborah Hill, Linda Obst. Uh, and also thanks to a great cast, because it really was. It was Everyone was just incredibly zany and a lot of fun doing it. Uh, and um, so I was really lucky to get Adventures in Babysitting, which really turned into a lot of other things. So luck is a really big part of becoming an actor, too. Luck and don't burn bridges and always be appreciative of everyone. Yeah, you can burn a few. You're going to find a point that you may make some... <clears throat> some I don't care money, I guess, <laughs> is a, some, a kind way to put it. And uh, I, most people will forgive you during those years, most. And if anyone met me between the ages of 19 and 23 to steal a line from Will Wheaton, I, I apologize. <laughs> what would you like, well, last question, or it's not a question, but what would you like to say to your fans out there who have been, who are not here, they want to say something to you, but what would we like to say to them? i so sorry, didn't get a chance to meet you guys at the Silicon Valley Comic Con, and I just have one thing to say. Dishes are done, man. <laughs> yeah, you can, get, you can buy dishes with that. <laughs> you can get his dishes with that. <laughs> we'll get a shot yes, of it. But we sell dishes. <laughs> so if you're hungry, you need a dish, come to this table too as well and get an autograph and pictures. <laughs> Thank you again for doing this. We Thanks really do sure. appreciate it. Thanks. Keep googling. <sighs> Rock on. Park it yourself, Metallica breath. <laughs> For more full-length celebrity interviews, visit SidewalksTV.com.